Good afternoon, traders. It is Friday, October 26, 2018, and U.S. stock market is closed. Boy, I'm glad it's Friday and this week is over with. Unfortunately, you know, uh, I'm going to try and enjoy my weekend, but it, it's almost like I do not want to trade on Monday. This is really discouraging. We had a very bad day today. Uh, we had, I think, positive $1,800 or something yesterday. Not exactly a big win, but uh, it would have been nice to have gotten out with that. Well, we didn't even come close. We saw our $1,800 positive open trade equity from yesterday go to negative twelve thousand four hundred and fifty one dollars by the time we got out just unbelievably horrible and um, these markets these stocks are so volatile and unpredictable and today I really got a taste of it when the, the when the mark stocks opened here this morning we had like negative nine or ten thousand and I just gasped because I thought here we go again and then for the first 30 minutes we actually started improving very dramatically and 30 minutes after the open those open trade losses had shrunk to almost break even. I think at one point they were like negative 200 or negative 300 dollars. And I'm thinking, whew, we, that's good. I didn't want to have a $10,000 loss today. And it looked to me like we were probably going to get out of this about break even. And then if you can believe it, in 15 minutes, I watched that equity drop from nearly break even to where we ended up getting out at negative over $12,000. I mean, it's just incredible. And of course, this trading is all algorithm driven, and I just can't figure out what this uh, automated trading is doing that we see such huge equity swings uh, in such a short period of time and it's all against us and it's just very frustrating and of course this morning the algorithm that would have been good would be to get out after 30 minutes. But I know you can't just go in there and change it. Because next week you'll find that you're down 10,000 when it's 30 minutes in. And then you're back up to break even at 45 minutes in. It's just it never stays consistent. But it was really hard on us this morning very very rough you can see here with the Dow uh, it opened up down I don't know 150 maybe 200 points there down here at the bottom it was down over 500 points and you can see here it actually took out the low from two days ago that was here and then it does I'll just call that the dead cat bounce uh, pattern there uh, ended up closing down 296 but I told you yesterday that I thought this was a dead cat bounce when we saw 600 points down this day two days ago and then yesterday it bounced I think it made 400 points but I said 
this looks like a dead cat bounce. Well, this is what a dead cat bounce, dead cat bounce does. It just continues the downside action and actually ended up taking out the low from the previous day's um, low uh, low mark. So I think this is just more of the same. What I'm basically saying is I'm not looking for any immediate reversal of this horrible trend, which has just been terrible all October. We're just getting killed. We're getting killed day after day after day, and it's because we have a market that's gone into... Um, very uh, severe correction and I can't predict when it's going to end it could end all of a sudden or it could drag on for a while but looking at the charts this doesn't look super well uh, we got into three positions today two are positive one negative and we're holding negative sixty dollars over the weekend so I'm not gonna worry about that but I'm I am worried about uh, you know these horrible trading days that we keep having and you know not only am I losing tons of my personal money in this trading <laughs> I can't sell a thing in this kind of environment. I mean, who's going to buy my algorithm when we're getting killed? I mean, that's perfectly understandable. But, yeah, my my income has really taken a hit this month. Well, I'm not crying on anybody's shoulder. I'm just telling you that's the way it is. I um, am going to be looking at... Uh, portfolio option changes this weekend I'm not sure what I'm gonna do you know I I, I just I got I, I gotta look and see what things look like but I'm, I'm kind of questioning whether changing the portfolio right now is gonna um, change too much but I'm, I'm 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 gonna look at it but I'm kind of pessimistic about a portfolio change right now well not to end this so totally pessimistic I just want to show you out of all this stuff that happened today to us and almost everything was there we get we had one stock that did exactly what our stocks are supposed to do every day I just want to show this to you this was High Crush Partners, and we got into this about the middle of the day, and it just kept going beautifully there, closed almost on its high. We got about $2,500 there in open trade equity. I almost feel like this is a teaser. This is something that's thrown in that says, is supposed to say to me, hey, don't give up, Bob. Don't throw up your hands and run from this stick with it but uh, the problem is we need we need four or five of these stocks in a day to to make this uh, doable and we had just one and everything else went against us terribly today I am not happy but I'm glad it's the weekend you guys have a great weekend, and regardless of my pessimism, I will be back here on Monday Trading.